Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. And I will stand over you yelling, house on fire, house on fire, put it out, put it out. Can anybody name that reference? If you can, I'd be surprised. We had a person come into the chat room the other day from live.perillo.com, and he goes by the handle, or she, I don't know, Discount Bacon. Chris, what's more important when dealing with firewalls, ingoing protection, outgoing protection, or both? Now, firewall, in computer terms, it speaks to either a software or hardware component that can protect you from dangers, whether they are uh, outgoing dangers or incoming dangers. And this is a reference to a real-world firewall that's placed in buildings to protect rooms from either uh, fire inside the room or outside the room. It's protection either way. Uh, now, which is more important to monitor, the traffic going from your computer or the traffic coming to your computer unauthorized in either direction? I'd say both, uh, certainly. Um, in, in terms of uh, traffic going from your computer, now we, you go to a website and you are legitimately asking for information from the website or you're downloading a file specifically because you want to download the file, but there are some programs that may be on your computer right now or that you may download in the future who may, or who, as if software was a real entity, uh, that may send information from your computer out to the internet. Or, and that's where the term spyware kind of originated. Uh, there was software that was sending information without the user knowing it uh, from their computer out to some random point or to a specific point online. And software firewalls started to crop up, uh, allowing for deeper uh, monitoring for, of this traffic. And of course, incoming traffic uh, from you know across the internet. When you're online, any machine on the network and I mean the network, could connect to you. They could send packets of information to you. Whether they're connected to you or not, they could send packets to you. And if any of those packets get through, they may discover a vulnerability, there may be an issue, and a firewall could be set up to protect you from those packets ever actually reaching your network, your home network, or your computer specifically. Monitoring both is very important. Now, as far as the software that I would recommend for most users, because I'm not going to go into uh, recommending hardware at this point, I think software will do the trick for a lot of people out there since they probably only have one, maybe two machines in their home network, if anything at all, uh, or if, if more than one. The software I'm going to recommend is called Komodo. That's C-O-M-O-D-O, -O -O, Komodo, dot, and it's Komodo.com or personalfirewall.komodo.com, and it is absolutely 100,010% free. I, I made up that number, but I didn't make up the fact that it's absolutely free. It is the most robust software firewall on the planet. In fact, some people have argued and and against it saying no, it's it's too particular. It's just it's so like so incredibly good that it monitors every single thing that happens and some people want that level of control, but that is full on protection. Independent tests have confirmed that Komodo is no doubt about it, the best software firewall for Windows right now. Unfortunately, it only works with Windows XP for so for those of us stuck on stuck for those of us using Windows Vista by choice, or maybe not, uh, it's not ready for Vista yet. But for XP users, Komodo is it, uh, no doubt about it. Don't spend money on a firewall if you don't need to. And this one, this this does the trick. Uh, it's very very powerful. Uh, I played around with it uh, in in very basic terms, and wow, yeah, it's good and it's free. The reason why it's free is because the company. Uh, create software, enterprise class software, and they sell uh, like security software to corporations. So they give this software out for free, personal firewall software out for free because they want to make the internet safer for average surfers like you and me. And because their business deals with uh, high-end security or secure uh, servers and like stuff that most users don't want to have to deal with, but instead of making people afraid of being online, they're making it easier to be online, and that's why they're giving it for free. They don't want, they don't think that you need to pay for firewalls to protect you from either incoming or outgoing traffic. Um, now, as far as the Mac is concerned with firewalls, 
I, I don't know. Um, you know, there's a lot of vulnerabilities that are related specifically to Windows. There are a few that are related to OS 10. I haven't really dealt a lot with uh, OS 10 firewalls or really security software in general, and, and would certainly be looking for any kind of information or leads that would, uh, you know, maybe point me in the right direction as well as other people in the right direction. Uh, so Komodo is my choice, and it's been independently tested. If you haven't looked at it, look at it. It's free, so I make no money off the referral. Um, if you've got a different opinion or maybe you think another software firewall is better than Komodo, well, see if you can prove it or if you can find studies that prove it or you know, maybe it's just a personal opinion. I don't know. Uh, by all means, leave a follow-up remark. What do you use? What do you recommend other people use? And certainly, if you're not using some kind of software firewall, uh, what are you waiting for? No, seriously, you need to install something now. I'm just being very emphatic there because it's something to be very emphatic about. You need to protect yourself when you're online, man. It's it's safe surfing. You know, Always wear a digital condom. I can't believe I just said that. All right. Well, like I said, leave a follow-up comment, remark, suggestions, recommendations, whatever. And, uh, you know, maybe uh, come by the chat room every once in a while. We're always there at live.perillo.com.